Lines and Angles A line extends forever in both directions. A ray only goes in one direction, away from an endpoint. A line segment is a piece of a line with two endpoints. This is called a point or an endpoint. You'll notice the line has arrows on both sides to show that it goes on in both directions. The ray has an endpoint on one side and an arrow on the other side, and a line segment has two endpoints. Lines can be named based on the direction they're going. Horizontal lines go side to side, left to right, like the horizon. Vertical lines go up and down, and diagonal lines go from corner to corner. Lines can also be named based on their position with another line. These are parallel lines. They run side by side, equal distance apart, and they will never cross. These are intersecting lines. Intersecting is just a math word that means crossing. So anytime lines cross, they're intersecting. Sometimes lines are perpendicular. Perpendicular lines are intersecting lines because they cross, but when they do, they form right angles or square corners. An angle is formed where two rays meet at a common endpoint. So here's a ray, it has an endpoint on one side and an arrow on the other. Here's another ray and they share their endpoint. This forms an angle. Angles are measured in degrees. A circle has 360 degrees. Pieces of a circle form angles, just like pieces of a pie. This angle measures 50 degrees. Half of a circle is 180 degrees, and this is what we use to measure angles. This tool is called a protractor. Let's try drawing some rays to create angles on this protractor. This angle measures 40 degrees. Angles that measure less than 90 degrees are called acute angles. This one measures 40, so this is an acute angle. This angle measures 90 degrees. Angles that measure exactly 90 degrees are called right angles. A square at the vertex of the angle is often used to show that it's a right angle. This angle measures 130 degrees. Angles that measure more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees are called obtuse angles. This one measures 130, which is between 90 and 180, so it's an obtuse angle. This angle measures 180 degrees. Angles that measure exactly 180 degrees are called straight angles. Let's review the four types of angles. Acute angles measure less than 90 degrees. These are all acute angles. Right angles measure exactly 90 degrees, and it doesn't matter which way it's facing or pointed. As long as that corner measures 90 degrees, it's a right angle. Obtuse angles measure more than 90, but less than 180. And straight angles measure exactly 180 degrees, which is a straight line. Let's review types of lines. We have horizontal, vertical, and diagonal to describe the directions lines are going. And we have parallel lines, intersecting lines, and perpendicular lines to describe a line's relationship with another line. Parallel lines never cross, intersecting lines cross, and perpendicular lines cross to form right angles. Let's review types of angles. Acute, less than 90. Right, exactly 90 degrees. Obtuse is more than 90, but less than 180, because once we hit 180, that's a straight angle. 
we can identify lines and angles in shapes. This triangle has a right angle and two acute angles. It also has perpendicular sides. They, they meet and cross to form that right angle. This square has two pairs of parallel sides. It also has perpendicular sides. And four right angles. Let's look at this trapezoid next. It has one pair of parallel sides, the top and bottom, two acute angles, and two obtuse angles. Be on the lookout for lines and angles. They're all around you. This stop sign has obtuse angles. This window has perpendicular lines and parallel lines. It also has right angles. This pair of scissors has an acute angle. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.